Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to share with you uh, this cool um, Maya script, which uh, can be very handy when it comes uh, to animation, uh, especially when you basically wants to animate an object uh, to be parented to another object so that it can follow the movement, and then you want that particular object to. Uh, unparented afterwards and maybe pa maybe uh, parent to another object or parent to its own world or to the same object again something like that in this case for example like um, the ball here all right so I want basically the ball is actually a separate uh, model and I want the ball and there's an animation that I've done here just for this example so basically uh, what you see here is the ball is not following the hand right as you can see here it's not following the hand but there's an action to it so this guy throw the uh, ball and what I want is actually the ball to bounce and then at a particular point like this it comes back to his hand and he you know he catch it so but, but unfortunately uh, you know if you use uh, just a normal parent he will just follow you one way and, and there's another option where you can use uh, parent constraint but I mean you can use parent constraint but the problem with parent constraint um, there's a lot of you need to have additional more uh, setup in order to to make the parent constraint more uh, effective when it comes to this kind of animation so this script will definitely simplify the whole process uh, as you can see now I want to play the animation and show you so the main action is this throw the ball catch the ball and that's it just a simple animation for this exercise all right okay so um, I'm going to introduce you to the script where you can find at creativecache.com creativecrash.com sorry uh, of course you know creative crash is where you can find a lot of cool plugins I mean uh, cool plugins and uh, mostly scripts small scripts that is very handy uh, for you know to speed things up inside Maya uh, but you know some are free some are basically you have to pay so in this case uh, the, the script is called KKDP uh, you know quite early version 0 0.1 0 0.001 0 0.01 all right um, DP stands for dynamic parent if I'm not mistaken um, and the thanks to the author Kareem Kashafi all right uh, it's free it's a freeware so but the thing is that the thing is that this is a uh, the compatibility of uh, the version of Maya that you can use which is uh, 2011 2012 and 2013 but as you can see I am using 2015 and 2015 so far I've tested and it is fine there's no I mean you can still use it with no problem um, all right so where you can download it is you can download it over here right and you can get the script so once you get the script you will you know you will extract the zip file and you get this uh, this, this is the basically a text format which tells you uh, that how to install it so I'm going to show you a bit on how uh, to install it alright so basically this is the script all you need to do is copy right and then you go to the uh, document right and the document and then you will see your Maya uh, folder and then you go to the scripts and I already have it pasted here so you just uh, paste it and put the script there alright okay so now once you have that but make sure when you do that um, you know you have Maya closed it will be more better so now uh, I have Maya open and to to invoke the script or to call the script you can go to the uh, script editor here all you need to do is type k 
kk underscore dp and hit the play button here and there you go this will you will call that script in that folder and this is the simple menu that you get all right now so how do you use it it is fairly simple uh, as you can see here there's a, a parent and this is the child so if you know I assume that in this tutorial that you already know what the concept of parenting and, and child all right um, so the child will follow whatever the parent is going uh, moving all right so here um, first you need to add what is the parent uh, I have the controller actually hidden so I'm gonna go show and enable the nerves so these are the controllers mm, this is not my model this is a, a courtesy of a model that I found inside creative uh, crash but I'm sorry that I I kind of forgot forget the author of this but I will credit it in uh, my my description below and thanks a lot for the character so that I can use it for animation tests like this all right now so mm, what I want right now is I want the parent to be uh, the hand controller all right so at any time here uh, I, should, I, I think of course at frame one uh, since this, uh, the hand is starts moving so I want at frame one I want the parent to be this uh, hand controller here so I will add by clicking this button all right and I will add the children which is the ball all right so the ball will be the child all right I didn't name it so it, this is the original name okay so now I want to play ah, I'm sorry you have to click a uh, parent button all right now it's parented now you can see the character is holding the ball and at a particular point right here just about here I practically want the ball uh, to be unparent so now at this particular point uh, maybe at yeah, this point I will click unparent so what it does is uh, it come it pops out this text window saying uh, you want to bake it or you want to drop it drop it means like you forget it but of course you want to bake it so it this guy wrote a quite a smart tools which is whatever that have been in the past here will be uh, baked into keyframes so when I click this it will bake the keyframes all right so it's actually if I let's say let's say before this I I start moving the hand rotating actually it's not parented anymore you see uh, the ball already have a keyframe for that it's already been big so at this particular point I will carry forward my own animation so I want to make the ball bounce I will say about let's say uh, one two three four five six let's say six frame the ball will be heading there at the wall it will collide at the wall so just like that maybe a bit an angle there right there you can see there's an animation going on All right of course I need to see the timing for that okay so I need to maybe make it more faster, reduce two more frames. Okay, see, okay, that will do for the tutorial today. Um, and then I want it to bounce back. Maybe I add some rotation. Okay, like that maybe. And I want the ball to bounce back the ASCII uh, wait and particularly hit receive at this particular end um, I want to delete this key oh, wait. I can delete this keyframes 
I need to adjust the timing uh, for this body animation anyway. So okay. okay. At this point, I want I want the ball to reach his hand and back again. So I will hit the the let's see the ASCII, all right? And I want the ball to return back to his hand and get parented again. Alright, so let's see, get some rotation. Just adjust that a bit. Alright. So maybe I will try to balance the keyframes. So we we'll have like. Okay, now. Good. That will do for the, this tutorial here. Alright. So once it reached here, I want it to parent back. Uh, of course, I already have it in the list. I will click the parent button. All right. Now you can see he throws, he catches, he grab back the ball. As easy as that. Very handy tools. Very useful and. Hopefully, you can speed up your animation when it comes to when you, you know when you need to use some parenting. You know, instead of using the constraint, uh, this tool will help you out to make things. Uh, you know, to make the process more more faster. Yeah. All right. Okay. So that's all for me. If you like my. Um, my channel please do subscribe uh, I tend to make a lot more videos uh, a lot more helpful and you know, helpful stuff and can't wait to share a lot more with you guys so yeah subscribe and thanks for watching